Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to design a concrete mix using the IS code. Okay, we will be learning the design for M30 using the Indian standard code. I have been given a question which states that we have to design a concrete mix to be used in the structural elements for the following requirements. Characteristic compressive strength at 28 days, they should be 30 Newton per mm square. Maximum size of the available aggregate is 20 mm. Shape of the coarse aggregate is angular. Degree of workability desired, that is a compacting factor 0 0.85. Degree of quality control is good and type of exposure is moderate. Okay. First, we will find the target strength uh, for our concrete. Okay. Uh, the material properties of the uh, concrete uh, coarse and fine aggregate are given. Okay, so specific gravity of coarse aggregate, this is 2.72 and for fine aggregate is 2.66 water absorption in percentage is 0.5% for coarse aggregate and it's nil for fine aggregates. Moisture content in coarse aggregate is nil and for fine aggregate is 2%. Specific gravity of cement is 3.15 and characteristic compressive strength of cement at 28 days, this is 51 Newton per mm square. You can see the sieve analysis for coarse and fine aggregates okay this is the cumulative percentage passing for 10 mm 20 mm and sand okay and sand uh, for our mix is conforming to zone third of is383 first you will find the target strength so uh, for the degree of quality control specified that is the good the value of standard deviation from this table which is given in the is code is you can see for m30 degree of quality control uh, good so value of standard deviation is 6 newton per mm square so the target mean strength for our desired uh, characteristic compressive strength this is fck plus 1.65 times sigma which is 30 plus 1.65 times 6 which is 39.9 newton per mm square this is the target mean strength after that you will find the water cement ratio okay so you can see uh, this uh, chart which is uh, between 28 days compressive strength of concrete and water cement ratio and there are different curves for different cement strength since our cement strength is uh, 51 newton uh, per mm square so it is uh, falls in this curve d so for uh, cement strength of 51 newton mm per, uh, per 51 newton per mm square curve d is selected and for target mean strength of 39.9 newton per mm square which is here we will draw a horizontal line this will cut the curve d at certain point from that you will draw a vertical line which will give you the water cement ratio so in this case the water cement ratio for target mean strength of 39.9 newton per mm square is 0.4 okay and for moderate exposure and reinforced concrete the maximum value of water cement ratio given in the is code is 0.5 so our value of 0.4 obtained is acceptable after that you will find the air content so for maximum size of aggregates of 20 mm air content is 2 percent and for m30 grade of concrete you have to find the approximate uh, approximate sand and water content per cubic meter of concrete you can see for grades up to 35 and for nominal maximum size of aggregate 20 mm water content is 186 kg per meter cube and sand as a percentage of total aggregate by absolute volume is 35 percent okay so water content per cubic meter of concrete is 186 liter and sand as a percentage of total aggregate by absolute volume is 35 percent okay all these tables are given in the is code so uh, since uh, the table uh, is the previous table this is based on certain specific conditions we have to make some adjustments for any deviation okay so uh, the value for the previous table the standard uh, conditions are that sand should be conforming to the grade second compacting factor should be equal to 0 0.8 water cement ratio should be uh, 0 0.5 okay and aggregate should be angular so for our sand conforming to the grade grading zone third adjustment in water content is nil but adjustment in sand this is minus 1.5 percent for sand conforming to the zone third okay similarly uh, 
uh, standard uh, compacting factor is 0 0.8 but we have compacting factor value equal 0 0.85 so increase in the value of compacting factor is 0 0.85 minus 0 0.8 which is 0 0.05 and for every uh, increase of 0 0.1 you have to make adjustment in water content uh, plus minus 3 percent okay plus if it is increasing and minus if it is uh, decreasing okay so for 0 0.05 adjustment in water content should be 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.1 into 3 which is equal to 1.5 and this should be plus 1.5 because our compacting factor value is greater than the standard okay and adjustment in sand is nil similarly adjustment in the water cement ratio standard is 0 0.5 but our water cement ratio is 0 0.4 so difference is 0 0.1 and for each 0 0.05 increase or decrease uh, we have to make adjustment in water content should be zero and adjustment in sand in total percentage should be plus minus one percent okay so for our uh, decrease since our water cement ratio is less than the standard so our decrease uh, in the value of water cement ratio is um, uh, 0 0.1 so adjustment in sand content should be minus 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.05 into 1 which is minus 2 percent overall adjustment in water content should be uh, plus 1.5 percent and adjustment in sand content should be minus 3.5 percent okay so after making the adjustment sand content should be 35 minus 3.5 which is 31.1 5 percent and water content should be 186 plus 1.5 times 186 divided by 100 which is 188.8 liters okay after finding the sand and the water content now we will find the cement content so water cement ratio is 0 0.4 a uh, quantity of water after adjustment is 188.8 liters so cement content it is equal to uh, weight of water divided by water cement ratio which is 188.8 divided by 0 0.4 which is 472 kg okay so minimum cement content required to fill for the mild exposure condition in reinforced concrete is 320 kg per meter cube this is from the is code okay therefore the value of 472 kg per meter cube is acceptable okay it's greater than the minimum cement content for mild exposure in reinforced concrete after finding the cement content now we will work out the quantities of coarse and fine aggregates per cubic meter of concrete okay so let us uh, assume the volume of concrete equal to one uh, cubic meter okay take the total volume as one cubic meter so volume of concrete will be one minus a volume of entrapped air which is two percent so it will be 0 0.98 cubic meter or 980 liters absolute volume of pressed concrete this is given as v is equal to w plus weight of coarse aggregate divided by the uh, specific sorry weight of cement divided by uh, specific gravity of cement plus weight of fine aggregate divided by percentage of fine aggregates in the uh, concrete divided by specific gravity of fine aggregates okay into 1 by 100 okay where v is the absolute volume of fresh concrete which is 980 liters w is the mass of water per cubic meter of concrete which is 188.8 liters wc this is the mass of cement per cubic meter of concrete 472 kg and specific gravity of cement is 3.15 p is the ratio of fine aggregates to the total aggregate by absolute volume which is 31.5 percent or 0 0.135 and wfa this is the mass of fine aggregate per cubic meter of concrete at specific gravity of fine aggregates is 2.66 after putting the value in the equation and solving for wfa the weight of the fine aggregates in our concrete mix is 537.39 kg similarly to find the value of weight of coarse aggregate again we have an equation that absolute volume of fresh concrete is given as v is equal to w plus wc divided by sc plus wca divided by 1 minus p into sca into 1 by 100 where wc is the weight of coarse aggregate and s is the specific gravity of the coarse aggregate putting values okay uh, specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.72 and solving for wca we get the value of weight of coarse aggregate in our concrete mix as 1195 kg okay so 
we have to make some adjustment for the water absorption and moisture content so uh, water percentage absorption of coarse aggregate is 0.5 percent means water absorbed by coarse aggregate will be weight of coarse aggregate multiplied by the water absorption percentage which is 0.5 so water absorbed by the coarse aggregate is 5.98 liters similarly uh, we have free moisture on fine aggregates which is 2% so free water in the fine aggregates will be 537.39 into 2 divided by 100 which is 10.75 liters so actual water quantity required will be weight of water just found out which is 188.8 plus water absorbed by the coarse aggregate which is 5.98 and the water uh, which is present as a free moisture on fine aggregate which is uh, 10.75 okay so total quantity of water required is 184.03 liters uh, also you have to make the adjustment to the coarse aggregate so you have to subtract the weight of water from the coarse aggregate uh, which is uh, absorbed by the coarse aggregate so actual quantity of coarse aggregate is 1195 minus 5.98 which is 1189.02 kg and uh, weight of sand this is equal to the weight of sand plus the quantity of free water which is uh, absorbed on the fine aggregates so it is 537.39 plus 10.75 which is 548.14 kg okay after that the actual quantities of materials required is cement is 472 kg water is 184.03 liters sand is 548.14 kg and coarse aggregate is 1189.02 kg this is the actual quantity of material required now we have to blend the aggregates so uh, according to the is uh, 383 you have to combine the fraction of uh, course aggregate to give a combined grading in accordance uh, with the code so it recommends that the fraction passing the 10 mm size sieve shall be in the range of 25 to 55 percent let's take an average of 40 percent okay so you have to make trials to combine the fraction first and second in the proportion of 40 is to 60 to see whether the combined grading is obtained okay so mass of fraction that is 10 mm sieve this is 0 0.4 multiplied by the weight of coarse aggregate which is 1189.02 so mass of fraction that is 10 mm maximum size aggregate is 475.61 kg and mass of fraction 20 mm msa it is 0 0.6 into 1189.02 which is 713.41 kg okay so when you combine the fraction that is 10 mm and 20 mm 40 is to 60 you will get the combined grading okay for 40 mm percentage passing should be 100 which is in the desired grading range okay 25 it's 100 and for 20 it's 95.2 for 12.5 it's 54.4 for 10 mm it's 43.2 for 4.75 mm it's 2.2 and for 2.36 it's 1.2 okay you can see this combined grading this is in the range of the desired grading according to the is383 okay so mixed proportion finally the mixed proportion of a trial mix okay cement should be 472 water should be 184.03 liters sand should be 548.14 kg coarse fraction 10 mm it should be 475.61 and coarse fraction 20 mm maximum size should be 713.41 kg okay and you can also get the ratio if you divide 472 uh, to this weight of water sand coarse uh, fraction 10 mm and coarse fraction 20 mm you will get the ratio that is 1 uh, cement ratio should be 1 water 0 0.389 sand 1.16 coarse fraction 1.007 for 10 mm and 1.51 for 20 mm okay so this is how you can design a concrete mix using the is code okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learned something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box and i will try my best to answer your doubts okay and if you found this solution video helpful you can subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends thanks for watching and stay tuned